Uh, boop boop. And then let's do boop boop. You gonna work first? Yeah, look at this. Just like a pro. Okay, it's been a while. Not a huge while, but again, it's so weird for me to play a game like this where like the all of the um you know normally I, I play kind of scorched earth and I play obsessively um but here I'm kind of doing it in little dribs and drabs um if you don't know what this game is, please don't expect us to explain it right here. Um, e add more beauty to the wall. Find your heraldic bird. Replace the lost bull. The victim's tattoos. Run the number on the victim's armor. Oh, ask Kuno about that. No, I should only talk to Kuno in after hour streams. Um... Um, the jam mystery. Smoker on the balcony. Find money for rent and pay guard. Uh, what does my thought palace look like right now? Oh, that's right. Um... So I have extra perception. <laughs> My hand-eye coordination is worse. Uh, but now I've done these. So, you know, maybe... Um, um, I, you know, we can talk to the people. Um, you know, we can talk to the, the, the people doing uh, uh, the, like the union workers in the cafe but I get the feel that's going to be a long conversation we only have about a half an hour here so instead um, I feel like I want to finish reading my Come on. Okay, here we go. Tools. Clipboard. And I can choose to interact with the clipboard. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers hanging from the board with the permeables drawer inside. It's barely held together by a clip, then made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. <laughs> smell the ledger. The acidic stench of rotting food is rubbed off on the cellulose. It now forms the base of the experience. This base surrounded by a faint air of spoiled meat, the stuff of death itself, and then sprinkled liberally with the citrus zest of toilet cleaner. You know, like the bits they put into public piss bowls, probably called Fermi Discreet, or Axel, or something. At some point in its journey, the ledger has seen the inside of a public toilet. Uh, I know, I know. Sylvie already told me I dunked it in if the toilet. If you knew it was dunked in the toilet before getting chucked into the trash, why are you sniffing it? <laughs> uh, hey, I'm, I'm the police. This is my job, is to investigate everything. Torturing your own nose for no reason is not conducive to case cracking. <laughs> Boy, I did not expect this. Um... Are you angry with me, Nose? I love the thought. What I love him maybe saying this out loud while Kim is standing there pretending not to notice. Yeah. Turns out your nose doesn't like self-indulgent literal shit huffing. Kel fucking surprise. Come on, no more. The ledger is going back down away from your nose now. Um...
An aluminium block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. On it, the perforated watermarks counting the achievements of the person you used to be. A bunch of sodden papers sag from the clipboard in your hand. It's a sorry sight. Arson, petty theft, spousal abuse. Handwritten logs on dozens of investigations date back to January 51. Stamped case files. Commit to paper. These are your last couple of months in Revachon. Precinct 41. Jamrock Quarter. Okay, so you I've don't done exactly all of that. Close them. So much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. They're a little further from your nose now. So I can read a case file. It takes about half an hour to piece one together, using the system you've devised. Which one do you want? Um, actually here. Not much has changed in the meanwhile. A bunch of sodden paper. So here's what I'm going to do. Aaron, Aaron is constantly afraid that, because what happened to him is he played the game and he accidentally soft locked it in a way that he can't progress it anymore because he spent too much money and then he didn't have the ability to have a room to sleep. And he, and so, you know, in advance. Can I help you? About my bill for Double tonight. 20 real. Uh, I hate spending all this money on that, but yeah, here you go. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. Um, okay. But I do need a drink. Do I have a shaker in my hand? He sounds irritated. Okay. Am I wearing a little bow tie? Am I smiling? Because he's not a bartender. I feel like you've given me... A hint previously, but it isn't connecting. I always hassle Gart about being a bartender, and it's one of my few joys. Uh, because I'm not a bartender. I'm a cafeteria manager. Play it calm. This man needs to understand you need a drink to help the community deal with police stuff. Fine. Like what? Uh, anything? Another thing. Great. I love those. So the phone line is dead. Yes, and the phone company is taking its sweet time sending someone to fix it. Losers. That's strange. It's not strange, it's inconvenient. Foul play. Who told you that? Oh, okay. So Lena is the person who called in... Uh who called in the body, but she doesn't work here anymore. Um, I would never disclose my sources. That'd be dishonorable. Fine, yeah. It looked like someone had messed with the wiring. It was shortly after the hanging, but I don't know if it's at all related. Plenty of assholes around here who aren't murderers. If you do find out who cut the line, though, let me know so I can forward them the repair bill. I do want to know more about that blue door. Oh, yes, that door, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. Every locked door is a mystery, Gart. You you have no poetry in your soul. Yes. What else? Yes, and the phone company is taking its sweet time se It's not strange, it's... Who told you that? Fine, yeah, it looked like someone had... If you do find out who cut... Yes. Okay. So a lot of those conversations I'd already had before I was just sort of checking up on. Um, and it looks like I did pay. All right, is there anything easy? Sing karaoke is my first quest. Inspect the body. Find my badge and gun. Who put the clothes in the trash? Um... um Explore the Whirlings, Secret Passage. You know, I do feel like if I can get back into
See, the mystery the door woman is closed. The mystery woman went there. I think. Hold on. Was this available to me before as a clickable object? Hold the, how the hell could I miss this? Empty cassette. How the hell could I have not seen that before? Huh. Oh, oh, you know what it might be? My perception is higher now. Wow, that is wild. Okay, hold on. Okay, I am seeing more stuff. Now that my perception is higher. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It's barely covered in steam anymore. It's your face in the mirror, adorned with the expression. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is... Uh, uh, this is me trying to not wear this smarmy expression anymore. It's one of the first quests of the game. Um, um, boy, I tell you, I am really resisting the urge to suddenly scour the entire game for things that I didn't see before, now that my perception score is higher. Oh, hello, dear. There you are again. Oh, boy. Uh, tell me more about your husband, this uh, cryptobiologist I'm going to be uh, looking for. Oh, dear. I'm not sure where to begin. What does your husband look like? Mm -hmm. Well, his expression is slightly grumpy, but his eyes are always bright and curious, like a small boy's. And his palms are quite coarse from all the field work, but he's quite gentle. It's always a challenge to describe the person you know best in the world. If I were trying to meet him in the street, what would I look for? Oh, well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame. And he has longish white hair, usually a bit uncombed. You might say wild, even. The lieutenant pulls out his notebook. One other thing, he'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him, even if he's not out in the reeds, you know, just in case. I was kind of hoping to talk to her about my research into the Kaldumama Dakwa. We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary this autumn. Not the most numerically satisfying anniversary, but I like the less obvious milestones even more somehow. How'd you meet? By a dating agency, I'm ashamed to say. I was looking to get back into the scene after recovering from my accident. And he'd just divorced. We hit it off and, well, here we are. She's skipping over some important parts. Perhaps you'll find out more later. I hope I've been useful. Okay, so, you know, I am curious. Curious if, now that my perception is higher, um...
most of the glasses I have make my perception worse. Um, so hold on here. What's this? You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Wow, this was not clickable before, everybody. Um, this was not clickable um, because my perception wasn't high enough. Um, so I get a chance to do a visual calculus check. And in this, hold on, what's screwing up my visual calculus here? Oh boy, my, my thoughts, my, th I have a thought that is damaging my visual calculus. Uh, can I, um, okay, here we go. It's a little better. I suppose I don't have any any clothes that make my visual calculus better. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Uh, I could smoke some cigarettes. The tire Yay. tracks were left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language of burnt rubber. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there and then accelerated straight into the fence. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. Before heading south, must have been in a hurry. You are correct. This is a rather motor carriage friendly city. Somehow that makes you feel scared. You don't know why. So, oh boy, I have two experience points. That means I could put some more stuff in my brain palace. Um, I've got, I've got all these options. Derealization. Becoming a magnesium-based life form. Oh, right. This is my assertion. This is my attempting to believe that that <laughs> that uh, that this is my real name. Uh and it's such a dumb idea, it gives me a minus two to conceptualization while I'm doing it. Um, indirect modes of taxation damages my empathy. Um, this is like a weird memory that I have. This is also a weird memory that I have. Um... This feels like the most important of all my thoughts, the one I must complete. So I mean, that seems fairly clear going to do that and then
Oh, hold on. Did that not? Oh, no, I misread it. It said two. I thought it meant I had two levels. Dang. Oh, well. Okay, now I'm thinking about that. Um, I thought that I had two levels to spend. I was going to put two different things in my brain palace. Um, is this connected to the case? I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinez. With the jam right here on the roundabout. I would keep them separate. You could follow the track south. There seems to be a canal there. See where they went, if you find the time. So... See, this is really interesting. My perception was so low before that I, I couldn't even, like, it's like, didn't even notice a broken fence. Um, I want to take my cassette in here and show it to this guy, see if he has any thoughts about it. Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Sure. Let me have a look. A fascinating photo of a corpse here. Oh, no. I don't like those kinds of objects. No sale. Yeah, I need to ask more people about these tattoos. A photic path. Counter radiance network. Anti-magnetism. It's darkness. That's all I know. Sell me something lighter. I'd like to sell my clothes. Uh... Anything else you're thinking of selling? I mean, this is my pawn menu. It should be fine for me to sell these things. But I don't think I want to. Another time, perhaps. I want to ask about my missing sure gun. Sure thing. My apologies, office. A needle in a haystack. Sure, man. I doubt it, but I can try. The pawnbroker's gaze. Okay, so that didn't give me the opportunity to um wow a very large red t-shirt with an impressive print stands <laughs> out from the other car so I like I, I don't think I could interact with this before either oh yeah the print depicts a muscled man striding toward you a giant sword in each hand encircled by burning embers behind him is a cluster of cabins engulfed in flames. <laughs> Beneath him are the words Hyundal burning. Sniff the shirt. Smells like worn cotton and a little old sweat there. That's about as good as you can hope for. Worn cotton with a side of flea market or trash bin. Sniffing is okay. But please don't try anything on. Can't have you leaving your photon emissions in the fabric of things you're not going to buy. You're not imagining it. Photon emissions? What is he talking about? It's the man from Hyundai. Oh, please tell me Kim loves this science fiction character. Walking away from his burning village. Yes. Their matter-of-fact tone belies their surprise at the fact that you didn't recognize the figure in the print. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm supposed to know who this is, but I lost my memory and need help remembering basic facts about reality. Oh. I said I lost my memory and need help remembering basic facts. Oh, I see. That's tough, man. 
I feel the same way sometimes. The man from Hjelmdal is the hero of a series of popular books based on a fictional version of Kotla. In fact, most people don't think that man from Hjelmdal ever really existed, but they are wrong. Hjelmdal isn't a real place. Neither is the man a real man, of course. But both the man and Hjelmdal <laughs> are ontological necessity. But hey, it's not worth getting into an argument about. Oh, my lord. I love that. No, let's have an ontological argument. I mean, even if the man from Hjelmdal didn't exist before the adventure novels, <sighs> the stories have made it so that he has. It's simple, really. This is funny. I made this argument in high school once. I wrote it up to give to a teacher trying to explain how Don Quixote had as much objective existence as George Washington did. Because, like, honestly, probably more people knew the story of Don Quixote than knew the story of George Washington. Um... Okay. You sound skeptical. It's not that complicated. All that's required is a more robust understanding of cause and effect. Besides, I've been to Kotla, though not quite as far north as the Hjelmdal, and watched northern lights travel across the sky. Very unique energetic tides there. His theory isn't exactly incoherent, but its logic does suggest some unusual neural activity. Interesting. Yay! My, uh, my art cop stuff just paid me off with experience there because I made a passive conceptualization check. Very, very unique energies indeed. Geomagnetic ley lines, one might even say. So how much for the shirt? Two real. That's dirt cheap. <laughs> Couldn't you just give it to uh, me for free? Why? Uh, because I'm a broke cop. Uh, Heimjall is a superstar and I am a superstar? Uh, how about this? I could repay you in some other way. Are dealing goods, not services. Oh, look at this. It gives me sh extra shivers. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Welcome to Hjelmdal, officer. Yeah. Yeah. No, wait. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, come on, show it to me. Show it to me. Why are you not... Why can I not pick it up? Okay, how about you? Shirt, go away. You shirt, go on my body. Go on my body. Go. I'm too old for this shirt. Uh, it would be even better. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. And then... And then that. Yeah, this is all, this is all pretty good. Um, the thing is, you don't, you don't wear your best shirt all the time. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta kind of save it for when you really need it. Um, but that is interesting. Oh, yeah, see? Now that cabinet is no longer interactable. Um, I didn't even see it before. A typical Martinez streetlight sits among assorted floor and table lamps. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> uh. Yes, officer. As you see, it's in perfect working order. Um, 
There's the cabinet. I think this is the stereo that I really want to buy. The boombox is weight on the shelves. And your boombox, that gold and amber, Harmon Walshie, stares at you longingly with its tape reel eyes. Absolutely. I've tested each one myself. If police work means playing tapes, sure. You can use it for that. Or any other time you'd need to play a tape. Like a beach party. With sand and sun <laughs> and seagulls dancing on the breeze. Thanks for clearing that up, Roy. For sure. It's a consumer device with professional application. <laughs> oh, okay, so... You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the tree. Okay, so now I have re-explored the pawn shop, uh, bought a very good shirt, um, and learned that, yep, uh, there, is, there are more things to be seen now that my perception is higher. Um, that, again, I should not be surprised, but this game does keep revealing new layers to me. Um, cause let me look here. My perception is now five, but it was, um, you know, it was like, it was a two. And with the two, my my perception was so abysmally low that I did not notice things like certain items in the pawn shop or, um, you know, or uh, a broken fence. Uh, that's, that, again, I just admire the, the hell offices. out of this game. A burly man hangs out by the waterlock, carving up a generous serving of salami with an old hunter's knife. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the waterlock and on an enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal between them. Do you know what caused this? Or er, first things first, what are you doing here, man? My friend Barry the Butcher is stuck on the other side of the waterlock. I'm keeping him company and eating his <laughs> salami. From the corner of your eye, you see a man in a yellow shirt and grey <laughs> overalls waving at you from across the canal. He seems disappointed about the wreckage on the waterlock and the salami. Very good stuff. Anything I can do for you, officer? What do you know what caused the wreckage? I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Weird, huh? Then again... Plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershall. The words daredevil driver sound ominous to you. Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here. Especially a water lock. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. What's further down? Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market, a bizarro church. Not much use to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. Yeah, not really much else. Just bombed out ruins. You share the salami with me? <laughs> sure thing. Ah, yeah! It is salty. It is savory. It is chewy. The hangover only makes the salami more tasty. Yeah. Want some too, officer? Why not? Yeah. Okay. You know, weird as it sounds, that's that's what I want to end uh, this this on. A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. Loose wires dangle from the now vacant holes. In the middle is a lever. Beneath it, a small metal plaque. This panel usually closes the water lock, turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. But there's a crashed Samarin butter sign in the way. Pulling the lever probably won't do anything. Oh no. Oh no. I wanna I wanna pull this lever. No, nope. no. Nope. Okay, I don't wanna kick off a weird chain of events before I'm I'm gonna end the stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna do 
I'm gonna be I'm gonna not I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna exit out of here. <sighs> um oh I realize now I've probably forgot to switch over from just chatting. Um sorry about that. If anyone who stopped by hoping to just see me uh to to be chatting with me. Normally I'm a little better about that. Um um yeah. Uh if you're to if you were tuning in hoping that I was gonna chat and saw me instead playing a game, sorry about that. Uh you know, was a little little late on my meds today, and so I wasn't quite as sharp as I'd like to be starting the stream. Um, and I had to start a little late, too, which threw me off my game. But uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I'm hoping to do a little streaming this weekend as well. Um, uh, and maybe work on a project a little bit that um, some of you might know a little bit about, but... I might give a little bit of a teaser of it this weekend. Uh, I don't know when that might be. Maybe Saturday night. Maybe a little on Sunday. Again, if you want to get a heads up, follow the channel. Um, um, and fundraiser is coming up. Uh, tuning into the blog. Or we'll be making those announcements on stream a little bit too. Uh, so, um, again, uh, thank you for showing up. And let me quickly wander here and see who should we throw a host to um um do 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 oh here's uh oh yeah uh, shut up and sit down is doing uh, a bunch of streaming uh this weekend and i will be streaming with them uh, as well later on so uh, or on Sunday, um, I am going to, uh, I'm going to send you all there. And if you follow that channel, um, you'll be able to see uh, when I, because uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to play a game with them. Shut Up and Sit Down is a great uh, game review youtube channel i don't know they're just a bunch of great people i helped them out uh last year by doing some games with them i really love the work they do i love the way they talk about games um i've described them in the past as as saying like i will like normally i'm not i'm not down for watching some 20 minute youtube video about whatever but I will watch a 30 minute YouTube video from them about a game I don't care about that I never intend to play just because like the way that they talk about games are is amazing and I love I love how their brains work and they're very entertaining and I learned about cool cool games there. So um so yeah, let's I'm just going to I'm just going to send you over there, uh, give them my best, and uh, be kind and polite. And yes, you can remind them that frogs do, in fact, be wet. Uh, and uh, and yeah, I hope to see all of you before too terribly long. Take care of yourselves. Uh, be safe. You know, Delta's still kind of fucking things up. If you're not vaccinated yet, really give it a think. And uh, yeah, be be gentle with yourself. These are rough times, and and I hope that they get smoother for you. I'll see you soon.